you all tonight. And congratulations, Last Down Class of 2022. You made it! Yeah. It was definitely a long journey. And to help us remember just how long our journey was, I'd like to tell a story. Please bear with me. I'll add some commentary to it so you may, so you understand. So a long, 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 long time ago, on a humid summer day, a group of 40 kids were standing at a bus stop awaiting the arrival of their coach bus. They knew little about where they were going, except that the trip would last for four hours or four years. While waiting, they looked around and noted the diversity that characterized their group. Short and tall, skinny and chubby, dark and light. They were all represented. Some even spoke some foreign languages, like Spanish, Burmese, Urdu, Igbo, Yoruba. Represent! But quite frankly, they were weirded out by this diversity, and they slowly separated themselves into homogenous groups. So a few minutes later, they would see their bus pulling up the road. It was painted blue and had tires with red rims. It looked decrepit, to say the least. And we'll call this bus Lansdowne. Its front bumpers dragged on the road as it moved closer, and its nearly flat back tires gave it a funky balance as it progressed. A cracked windshield and rusting frames topped this luxury vehicle off. As they boarded the bus, their noses were immediately stunned by a muggy and earthy smell. This bus was old, like really old. And apparently, they wouldn't be the only ones riding the bus, as it had picked up other kids from previous stops. Eventually, they took their seats, and the biggest problem became evident. The bus did not have AC. Like Kayla said, freshman year at Lansdowne is rough. Rough. And so they sweated like crazy on those seats. And one of the kids made the worst mistake of his life, trying to use the bus's small restroom. The light flickered, and the toilet wouldn't even flush correctly. He ended up just clogging and smashing the toilet. Eventually, the first hour passed. That was the end of our freshman year. And sadly, they had to say bye to some of those who had boarded the bus before them. But by then, they had grown more comfortable with each other and began to embrace their group's uniqueness. The second hour, which is our sophomore year, really felt like a blur. To be honest, the first half of sophomore year didn't really have many interesting things going on, except the usual. A few fights broke out, some kids cursed out the bus driver, and someone mistakenly lit a fire in the bathroom and almost burned out the school, I mean bus. And in the latter part of the second hour, you guys know what happened in the second half of sophomore year. We were thrown a huge curveball. A student mysteriously began coughing. Uh-oh, COVID. The driver later found out that the bus had a gas leak, and eventually this invisible monster could harm all the kids in the bus. So this gas leak represents the COVID pandemic. And so all the students agreed and signed a petition to get off that vehicle, and the driver had no choice but to stop the bus and eventually everyone exited. The near future was uncertain, and sadly, some departed from their midst, never to be seen again. Some, stricken by fear and anxiety, broke down in tears, and time went by so slowly. That is why the third hour will forever be a haze in our memories. Like, what even happened? And though some fared better than others, this third hour, our junior year, definitely changed us all. So, senior year, they all boarded the bus for the last hour, and guess what? The bus had some renovations done. <laughs> Lansdowne got AC. Come on. That is a good Lansdowne has come a long way. And that's not even all. We found out some weeks ago that we're also getting a new school. Come on. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the bus's seats were still beat up, and the window still cracked, and it still had that awkward bounce, but it now had AC. And knowing that the ride would soon be coming to an end, they tried to savor the time they had together on that bus. They had learned to embrace their diversity and cherish the extraness of their bus. And sincerely, they wouldn't have traded theirs for any other. And eventually, the bus came to a stop. Lansdowne Class of 2022, if you haven't guessed already, we are that group of kids, and that bus is our dearly beloved high school. Our four hours, or four years on that bus, was one heck of a ride, but it is what brought us all here today. And reflecting on these past years, you might have some bitter memories and disappointments. 
But one of the biggest lessons I believe we all learned is the importance of stability. From having to spend scores of grueling hours behind our computer screens, to even being targets of a cyberware attack in the beginning of our junior year, our emotional health and mental drives were severely challenged during our time at Lansdowne, and we all sought for things to cope with. We would soon discover that our friends and families at times let us down, and the times and the things we tried to fill the emptiness with just wouldn't do it. I was not exempted from these challenges. In fact, during the pandemic, I experienced my lowest and lowest. But thankfully, I rediscovered myself in my faith in Christ. And embracing all the promises and assurances He provided me, I slowly but surely went through my faith. I'm very thankful for that. But my question to you all today is, what is your stability? As we step out of these doors in a few minutes, a world awaits us. And I don't want to give many cliche advices or promise anything too right except that we should make the best of whatever we face and find our stability. Is you a Lansdowne Viking or not? You are a great person and you can do great things. So even though greater challenges might arise, I'm sure you can overcome them. And sadly, some of us here might never see each other again. So cherish your memories. When you reflect, you'll likely find that Lansdowne wasn't as bad as you thought. And finally, I'd love to say a big thank you to our bus drivers, our administrators, teachers, and staff members. Thank you for all you do for making Lansdowne a better place. And we mustn't forget our friends and families who've come out here to celebrate with us. Thank you. Congratulations, Lansdowne.